Hey there, I've got a little uh, proof of concept to, um, that I was uh, messing around with. So I've got a pistol right here, and when I pick it up, I now have five different pistols that I can select from. So if I hit the enter key, I can use my menu. So I've got this pistol, um, there's swapped pistol right there, swap to this. Notice my ammo count doesn't change. Basically, it's using um, it's basically using the same weapon, but I'm just swapping what it looks like. Um, and then also, if I look in my third person view, my weapon swap as well. So, so I've got that weapon, that, that, and that. And I've made it so that um, if I want, this pistol could have different bullets than this pistol. So I made it so that this pistol has the same bullet as the revolver. And then the rest of them just have normal pistol bullets. Um, so that's the uh, concept. That's kind of what I'm going to uh, go through. I just thought it would be a fun little, you know, way to have weapons. Like, for instance, this weapon is just this weapon, so there's nothing else. And notice there's my revolver, switch back to my pistol, and my fancy little menu pops up. And this menu has uh, cursor zones, so if I click in here, it only interacts with that, but as soon as I click outside, um, it goes back to this view. So it, this video is basically going to show you two different things, how to change weapons and also how to set up a you know, cursor zone. So the first thing I did is I created a new canvas. So you just go game object UI canvas. It's going to create a canvas like this. And um, I renamed the canvas uh, just so that I could have multiple canvases and I could turn them on and off. Um, I created this image, which is basically my background. So everything on the top is the first thing that it's rendered. So if this was down here, it's going to be over top of everything. So it goes in order of how it's rendered. This is using the, um, the 4.6.1. So 4.6, they have this uh, new UI system. Um, if you're not sure how to use it, I recommend looking at the uh, Unity Learn uh, site. They've got a whole bunch of tutorials how to go through it. So I've got that, I've got my image, and I just added a button, so I did a game object UI button, and then I changed where the button was, um, so I just put it down here, positioned it where I wanted it, and from there, um, I added these uh, icons, so I turned the text off and I added, I just added an image. And for the images, I have different source files, so each one of them has a, um, a weapon. And then on my button, I'm referencing this on click. So if we look at a button, so when you first get a button, Right here, the on click is empty, so you just hit the plus, and I can drag an item. So, for instance, if I drag that, then I can take um, anything on here and access the function. So, for mine, I'm actually accessing uh, this pistol where I've got my weapon change script on it. So this one sends weapon 1, that sends weapon 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, so I'm using uh, Ultimate FPS. Uh, this is 1.49 as of January 27th. And I'm also using um, Craftwork Mobile has a ton of um, weapon packs. So I'm using this free one where it has five different pistols. 
Um, I'm using this because I know there's five pistols and I wanted to be able to switch through five different weapons. Um, but you can see they have a, a ton of weapons and they're good high quality weapons. But there's a lot of stuff on the asset store. I usually try to find free weapons whenever I'm uh, doing these tutorials. Okay, so once you're done with your, your uh, canvas, um, I just swap to the game view uh, because whatever aspect mode you're in, because we have that locked, it's always going to be in the same spot and it's going to be based on what aspect mode. Um, so UFPS uses um, under this mouse cursor they have a mouse cursor zone so if you hit enter during play mode any time you click inside this zone it's not going to go back to the weapon um, so basically I had this little helper script that I wrote and I can use this to figure out where my um, menu is. So if my menu is at the top, I could find out that it's at the top and make it the right size and so on. But for me, mine's at the bottom and then I could just turn this off and um, this will save this cursor zone to, I've got it to be uh, cursor zone zero right here. So since there's only one cursor zone, it's zero. So if I had another one, this one's now going to be a different cursor zone. So basically, zero, one, so on and so on. Um, if you want to know more about the cursor zones and how they work, I suggest looking at the uh, UFPS online manual. So I took the standard hero um, that setup that comes with a UFPS and I, I just changed the pistol. So on the pistol, I added a new script. Um, basically what my script does is you point to where your third person weapons are. So as we all know, in the body, it'll go down to the arm and you're going to have all your weapons. You'll have your pistol, you'll have your revolver, your machine gun, your mace, whatever else you have. So for this, I'm saying, okay, I've got a pistol type. Um, and then under here, as children of this, I have um, those pistols that I showed you uh, that I downloaded. So you've got the, all the different pistols. So I just grabbed the prefabs and I set them up I set them up in the hands here let me turn these up once uh, off real quick so you can see them uh, so I've got all the different pistols set up right here so I set them up based on how um, the pistol set up so those are all in place and they're all pistol one two three four five so that's what these references are you got pistol one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, this canvas is the canvas that we just made. So this would be our GUI canvas. And then I also set it up so that each weapon could have a different bullet if you wanted. So um, here I'm grabbing the revolver bullet and the rest of them I just leave it the regular bullet. Uh, doing this basically just has different uh, damage amounts and you can change different settings and stuff like that so um, so the next thing I did um, under this uh, first person I just changed um, I duplicated the one that was here uh, renamed it created a new prefab and put my weapons under it so you got five four so I've got them all, they're all right there in, this, in the same spot. You need to set it up this way, otherwise the script will not work. Also notice that these names are exactly the same names as the one in the third person. So use the same weapon so it'll have the same name. And don't change these names um, because 
it's going to look for the first person weapon based on the name that's in here. Alright, I'm going to re review the script real quick. Um, so I'll post this on the UFPS forums. Um, so basically right here I'm just saying I've got a tip to plug in your third person weapon. So I've got a public game object. This is weapon third and I've got projectile and so on. So I have all the different ones set up. Uh, game objects and there's the GUI which is, I'm just calling it a game object so I can turn it on and off. Um, right here these are not public they're set up private so basically it's gonna say whatever the name of the third one is it's gonna look it up for the first. Now if you're not doing third person you're gonna have to change how this whole thing's set up. This will need to be strings that it's looking for. Um, and this is the uh, UFPS stuff that I'm grabbing. So I've got a game object to my weapon. So um, we know from here I attach it to the pistol. So the pistol will be the weapon. And then it's going to grab my couple scripts for UFPS. So it's the F uh, FP weapon and the shooter. I'm grabbing the weapon script and the shooter script. And then, uh, since we're instantiating it, I'm, I'm doing it this way. And then I found that I need to actually update all the weapons on fixed update. So on start, I grab, I assign the uh, different components. And then as soon as the game begins, after start's done, it's going to go through this fixed update. It's going to go through it one time. So it's going to grab and assign all the different weapons based on the third name, the ones where we assigned their actual names. And then it's going to turn, turn this boolean off. Um, and basically I'm just setting up first projectile to be whatever we have set up for uh, weapon one. And then I'm going to go and update my references. And so references I'm just saying um, the first the first weapon is going to be on and all the rest of them are false. They're uh, deactivated. And then on enable uh, we turn our GUI on. On disable we turn our GUI off. And then I've got a uh, change weapon script. This is what we're referencing right here. So I'm saying Go to my weapon switcher, go to my change, notice I'm looking for an int integer. So my integer that I'm passing here for the first weapon button is 1, and I'm requiring an int. So I'm just doing a switch statement. I don't know if there's a better way to do this, but so if it's 1, weapon 1, and I change the projectile, and I go and update the weapons, and I've got five different cases. Um, so basically I'm sending the object and I'm turning them all off and then whichever one we selected is the one that we're turning on. Um, like I said, there's probably a better way to do this, but this is what I decided to do. So if you have fewer weapons, you're going to want to have less. And if you have less, you're going to need to cut all this code down. I did not um, put any checks like you know, if we don't have a GUI, you know, then don't do it. Um, so I don't have any checks in here like that. So you will get null errors if you don't have something set up. Um, I really didn't have time to go through this uh, mouse cursor helper. I tried to put a ton of comments and helper screens and stuff like that so you could um, understand what's going on. Uh, but basically this is just to help you figure out where the mouse cursor zone is. And as we saw, my mouse cursor zone is down here. So therefore, if I click in this area, it's actually I'm actually going to be able to interact. And if I click outside the area, it goes back to weapon mode. Um, Alrighty, I know that was fast, but um, it's kind of hard to go through all this content in this small amount of time. Alright, thanks.